are the 2.1 million doctors, 3.5 million nurses, 1.3 million paramedics, 1.6 million pharmacists, and millions of others involved in the healthcare sector in India. Friends, Gandhiji considered health to be such an important issue that he wrote a book titled Key to Health on the subject. He said that to be healthy is to have one's mind and body in a state of harmony and balance. Indeed, health is the very foundation of life. In India, we have a saying in Sanskrit, Arogyam Paramam Bhagyam, Swastam Sarvartha Sadhanam, that is, Health is the ultimate wealth and with good health, every task can be accomplished. Friends, the COVID-19 pandemic has reminded us that health should be at the center of our decisions. It also showed us the value of international cooperation, whether in medicine and vaccine deliveries or bringing our people back home. Under the Vaccine Maitri initiative, India delivered 300 million vaccine doses to more than 100 countries, including many in the global south. Resilience has turned out to be one of the biggest learning of this time. Global health systems should also be resilient. We must be ready to prevent, prepare, and respond to the next health emergency. This is especially important in today's interconnected world. As we saw during the pandemic, health issues in one part of the world can affect all other parts of the world in a very short time. Friends, in India, we are following a holistic and inclusive approach. We are expanding health infrastructure, promoting traditional system of medicine, and providing affordable health care to all. The global celebration of the International Day of Yoga is testament to the universal desire for holistic health. This year, 2023, is being marked as International Year of Millets. Millets or Sri Anna, as they are known in India, have several health benefits. We believe that holistic health and wellness can help enhance everyone's resilience. The establishment of WHO Global Center for Traditional Medicine 
इन जामनगर गुजरात इज एन इम्पोर्टेंट स्टेप इन दिस डायरेक्शन एंड द होल्डिंग ऑफ डब्ल्यू एच ओ ग्लोबल समीट ऑन ट्रेडिशनल मेडिसिन एलॉन्ग विथ जी ट्वेंटी हेल्थ मिनिस्टर्स मीटिंग विल इंटेंसिफाई एफर्ट्स टू हार्नेस इट्स पोटेंशियल it should be our joint effort to build a global repository for traditional medicine health and the environment are organically linked clean air safe drinking water sufficient nutrition and secure shelter are major factors of health i congratulate you for the steps taken towards the launch of the climate and health initiative the steps taken to address the threat of antimicrobial resistance are also commendable amr is a grave risk to global public health and all pharmaceutical advancement so far i am also glad that the g20 health working group has prioritized one health our vision of one earth one health and we suggest good health for the entire ecosystem for humans animals plants and the environment this integrated view carries gandhi ji's message of not leaving anybody behind friends public participation is a key factor in the success of health initiatives it was one of the main reasons for the success of our leprosy eradication campaign our ambitious program on tb elimination also encourages public participation we have called upon the people of the country to become nikshay mitra or friends for eradication of tb under this nearly 1 million patients have been adopted by citizens now we are on our way to achieve tb elimination well ahead of the global target of 2030 friends digital solutions and innovations are useful means to make our efforts equitable and inclusive patient from far and wide can receive quality care through telemedicine india national platform e sanjeevani has facilitated 140 million telehealth consultations to date india's covin platform successfully facilitated the largest vaccination drive in human history it manage the delivery of more than 2.2 billion vaccine doses and real time availability of globally verifiable vaccination certificates the global initiatives on digital health will bring together 
various digital health initiatives on a common platform. Let us open our innovations for public good. Let us avoid duplication of funding. Let us facilitate equitable availability of technology. This initiative will allow countries in the global south to close the gap in healthcare delivery. It will take us one step closer to our goal of achieving universal health coverage. Friends, I conclude with an ancient Indian wish for humanity. Sarve bhavantu sukhinaha, sarve santu niramaya. That is, may all be happy, may all be free from illness. I wish you success in your deliberations. Thank you.